While Amritpal Singh is on the run and Punjab faces its own challenges, there are some anarchists sitting comfortably in their air-conditioned offices enjoying healthy meals and spewing terror poison against India. Lately, their repugnant calls for Khalistan have become increasingly disturbing. After their attempt to attack Indian consulates was met with hard fists, they have come down to utter hatred for the war heroes. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Savita Mishra and this is TFI Post. According to tweets posted by many, Gurcharan Singh, the ISI agent and the UK head of Dal Khalsa terrorist organization, has publicly insulted the Indian revolutionary Bhagat Singh, who gave his life to the nation and accepted being hanged to death so as to revolutionize the people of India. The moron said, I quote, Freedom fighter Bhagat Singh was a traitor and bootlicker of Brahmins. He was using the statement to describe the bond that Bhagat Singh shared with Chandrasekhar Azad. He is facing immense criticism across India for his outrageous remark. It should be noted that the statement was made on the Shaheed Day, the same day that Bhagat Singh, Sukhdev and Rajguru were executed for the Lahore conspiracy case in 1931. The Khalistani terrorists are trying their best to portray their disastrous and malicious activities as a protest and want to create a movement out of them. In pursuance of that, they are attacking Indians in different parts of the world and making vicious statements in order to prove their insurrection. But this time, targeting Bhagat Singh is way too much. Gurcharan Singh has not only demeaned the Indian freedom struggle but also abused the contribution of Bhagat Singh and all the Sikh in the independence movement. However, this is not a single incident. An incident was on the same line was witnessed in Canada, the country which breeds Khalistani terrorists and has let them loose, causing them to become fearless and pose a threat to the rest of the world. It was reported that the statue of Mahatma Gandhi was vandalized by Khalistan supporters. The information came from Hamilton, Ontario, where a group of Khalistani supporters painted graffiti in the city hall against India. The Indian government's gift of a bronze statue of Gandhi was spray-painted with the intention of defacing it. The mob put the flag of Khalistan on the stick of the statue of Gandhi. In almost eight months, this is the fourth incident in Ontario. These type of incidents are becoming more frequent which shows that countries like Canada and the UK have failed to uphold the sovereignty of other nations on their soil. Coming back to Gurcharan Singh, recently another video surfaced over the internet where he was threatening an Indian. He can be heard saying, I quote, You Gujaratis need to listen carefully. Run away or I will slap you. If you want to have langar, have it quietly and leave. Your cow urine drinking community has created a lot of drama. Tell every Gujarati, if the war starts this time, we will fight in Gujarat, we will fight inside your house. Now go and drink cow urine. How brave of him. He later challenged the same Gujarati Hindu man to do whatever he could do. Gurcharan has a long history of anti-India rhetoric. In 2018, he was found opening up his terrorist links in front of the media camera. He openly accepted that ISI, China and the Maoists are funding Khalistani activities. The question regarding Gurcharan Singh's statement also needs to be asked by the Aam Admi Party. During and after the Punjab Assembly election, AAP was the party that campaigned around Bhagat Singh. After winning the election, Bhagwant Maan took the oath of office as CM in the village of Bhagat Singh. And to date, all the party leaders were Basanti turbans. Now you may be thinking, so what? AAP is not responsible for foreign matters, right? But they are responsible for their party funding. In a sting operation from Republic TV, Gurcharan Singh admitted on camera that they were on the ground during the 2017 Punjab Assembly election. They campaigned for AAP and funded them. As a result, AAP got 95 seats and consolidated its presence in the state. So it would not be wrong to say that Bhagwant Maan is also responsible for the uprising of Khalistani terrorism in the state. Now it is becoming more haunting to see such a government in the state that is similar to the 1984 administration which became defunct.
He was also saying that every sect is trying to break out of the country. It reminds me of an interview with retired Lieutenant General K.S. Brar, the commander of Operation Blue Star. He said there was a sentiment in 1984 that the people of Pakistan shared more in common with Sikhs than Hindus here in India. What I want to say here is that during 1947, Pakistan was carved out of India, which also divided Punjab. Hundreds of thousands of Sikhs were murdered, looted and raped in the aftermath of partition. Does that maniac want Punjab to be the same as the Pakistan's Punjab, where people speaking Punjabi are forced to speak Urdu? Is India ethnically close to Sikhism or is it Pakistan that is funding the Khalistan movement? These questions are actually something that a common man sitting in Punjab should ask themselves because those who became mascot of Khalistanis, whether it was Bhindranwale or Amritpal, all just exacerbate the situation and now they are targeting the soul of Punjab by targeting its heroes like Bhagat Singh.